We've learned what interface requirements are and that they can be a bit tricky. Let's hear Nkozi's formal definition for what an interface is. Nkozi defines an interface as a shared boundary between two functional units. Right there, we see that an interface occurs on a shared boundary. Consider an ATM. There are three major components at work. The ATM's internal capabilities, the user's internal capabilities, and the screen and keypad that operate as a shared boundary between them. When you as the user make your selection on the ATM, formally, you have no interest in how it completes its various processes. Your one and only interest is what processes it does complete. When you make a request for cash, you care that it dispenses the cash. When you request a balance, you care that it outputs the balance. Similarly, the ATM has no concerns for the interworkings of your fingers or whatever you use to press the button. It is only concerned that your fingers or whatever mechanism you use selects the appropriate options to execute your transaction.